Hey everybody, Shabu here, back from another video, and today I'll be showing you how to make a gravity coil in Roblox. So the first thing we're going to want to do is get our gravity coil. So we're going to make a tool, go to Explore, go to Starter Pack, right click it, Insert Object, then Tool. Now we're going to click the tool to start our pack. If you don't see it, click the arrow. Then we're going to go to Properties. Scroll down. And then uncheck these. This will, this will allow us to equip the tool no matter what. I'm going to change the name to Gravity Coil. Then we're going to right click it again, insert object, and then insert a local script. Now I'm going to start scripting. I'm going to delete this because we don't need it. Now I'm going to set up two variables local tool, you go script up parent. We'll use this to reference the tool. It goes from the script to the gravity curl. Then how much will reduce the gravity? So reduce equals 0.5. This is one half. So it'll make it have it'll make us have half the gravity when we hold it. Now we're going to set up some functions. So local function get mass character. We're going to need to get the mass of the character so we can lower its, gra lower its gravity to half. Local mass equals zero. And for I part in pairs character get children. This will go through every part inside of the character. And then add the mass to it. If part so it exists, we have to make sure it exists. And part is a base part. To make sure it's a part and not a hat or something. Then mass plus equals, this will add to it, so add to the variable, part get mass, and then we're going to do return mass. This will give us the mass whenever we call the function. And then local function equipped, so whenever the tool is equipped, this will fire, it will run all the code in here. Local root equals tool dot parent friend vs child humanoid root part. This will see if there's a root part which is the center of the character. And if there is one, it'll set the variable to that. We have to make sure there is one, so if root then to make sure to make sure it exists, now the cold code breaks. Then local attachment it was instance.new attachment attachment parent equals root we'll use this to apply the force then local force use instance.new vector force then force.parent equals root force.force and force.attachment zero equals attachment so this is what I'll apply the force to which is the center of the root part was the attachment is inside of the root. And now we need to get the mass. So local mass equals get mass root dot parent is the character is the root dot parent. And then this will be the mass variable. Now we set the force of the force to vector three dot new zero mass times workspace dot gravity times reduce and then zero so the mass times the workspace gravity which is just the gravity as you can see here for you much to explore then properties and stop gravity this is what it's set to and then reduce so this will this will reduce it by half 
and then now, and then now, two other unequipped weight attachment destroy force destroy. This will wait until it's unequipped, and then it'll get rid. It'll get rid of the attachment and the force. Because we don't want them to keep it after the tool is unequipped. Then now, tool.equipped, connect, equipped. So whenever it's equipped, it'll run all this code. Then it'll work. So we're going to click play. Then now, we jump normally. But if we equip the tool, we'll jump higher because the gravity is reduced by half. And if you wanted to make an actual gravity coil, we can just go to the toolbox, go here, get a gravity coil. You can just take this. We can remove the script because we have our own. Move it to starter pack. We insert our script into there and remove the old one. We also want to set this to massless if it's not already. Then now we can click play again. Now we have a real gravity coil. And that's how you make a gravity coil in Roblox. Make sure to slap that like button and punch that subscribe button. Peace.